Hey there guys, Pariah here, and welcome back to Let's Play Valhalla. On the last part, Virgilio came into the bar and, surprisingly, dropped the act. Turns out the Virgilio that we've seen up until that point was just an act. And he and he apologized, and after chatting with him a bit, he honestly seems like a pretty cool dude. So my opinion for Virgilio has taken a complete 180 now. And, well, right after Virgilio left, we met up with Art, Detective Art again, who complained about corporations taking over Mega Christmas, and also finding out that nothing really much has been found out about the, the problems that happened at the bank, where Say got injured. So unfortunately, no one really knows other than the people that were there. So who knows, maybe, hopefully Say will say something about it. Anyway, let's get started. Things are pretty quiet outside. Jill! Ah, Miss Kim. Just just call me Kim. It sounds weird to be called Miss. It seems like Kim has something to, something to say. You seem to be in a good mood. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. Let's get Kim a beer. God, I've made some of these strings so many times I really should know the ingredients off the back of my hand, but I don't. There we go. A beer for the lady. Here. Thanks! So, how have you been doing? Pretty good, actually. My hair stopped falling out. My appetite is coming back. I didn't realize just how much the newspaper was weighing on me until I quit. Somebody stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved a victory. Like, like I got a hold of my own life. That's so nice to hear. Oh yeah, I'll start bartend. I'll start bartender training in January too. Huh? Really? Yeah, I did some research and it sounded cool. PTC gives you many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. Well, give me time to think on the next um. It'll give me some time to think on the next course of action. Good advice. Don't go for the BTC housing plans unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service, with a cut in pay and tips. I was going to go for that one, but I backed down a bit at the last minute. How do you back down a bit? Well, I took the chance when the BTC found me an apartment. And instead of signing the BTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I still have no idea how I got away with that one. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England they are. They have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they have the means to give discounted rooms to employees. But in this city, Realty Nua holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. So BTC can easily offer such promises. Oh! Oh, Realty, I said reality, I think. Yeah, Realty Nua is a bit weird as far as companies go. The name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. The truth is that Realty Nua has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really? I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land where every that everyone gave up on. They became a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality, the company itself has actually done less than you'd think over the years. Most of the time, they're cashing in on their established properties or letting others work with them. I believe in the last 10 years or so, they've only started around 3 or 4 new projects. And they're all expansions on their already established ones. You, you seem to know a lot about it. Yeah, but Jill, it's kind of weird that you know so much about this. Nah, I've, read a, I've just read a lot about it over time, especially after hearing my landlord ramble about them. Things all par for the course for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name so much, you expect something... I don't know... different? But enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Can I get you anything else? Now let's try Sugar Rush. Okay. Sugar Rush, I feel like I've been serving them a lot lately. Yeah, okay, you really have been. Well, it's hard to screw up a good... Really hard to screw up a Sugar Rush, like you said. And I'll... Put a bit of concrete in it. All mixed. Oop. Sugar Rush. There you go. Yay! Actually, Jill, 
I, I came here today to thank you. Me? Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked, I was tired, I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. I can't imagine you helped me cool down, your boss saved me. And, I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Much appreciated, thanks. Anyway, how are you doing? Last time you were a bit... off. I'm better now, thanks a lot. Glad to hear. It was, weird. it was weird to see you like that. It just felt like you were putting up a cool bartender act. It did? You don't? I don't. Are you sure? What you saw as a cool bartender act is what everyone else has described as being cold. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same, but... Nah, I don't try to put up, put up that act. Sorry to disillusion you. I'm too much of a mess to do that sort of do such a thing. Huh. Disappointed? Surprise, actually. What led me to believe that you were putting What led me to believe that you were putting on an act? And more importantly, how can I make use of it when I get assigned to a bar? I must investigate further. Good luck with that. Say, let's try something bubbly now. Alright, okay, let's get a bubbly drink. Hopefully this will actually be good, because I think I gave someone like a cobalt velvet and they're like, no, it's not a bubbly drink! Frothy mm, water. Not sure, let's put on frothy water. Is that the same spray as a beer? Let's say the same spray of a beer. Here. Thanks! Hey Jill, I'm gonna need some ice. My boss. Boss? Oh, I know you. Thank you, thank you! Hey. Nice, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine, I'm alive, I'm here! I avoided my... I avoided my biggest mistake in life thanks to your timely intervention. I... I don't know what overcame me, I just felt like... Like... Like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like... Like... Thank you! Don't even mention it. I just did what I felt was right. Jill? Ice, please. Right. Are you alright? Did you seek help? I know, a couple, I know a couple people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple times, but he says I'm okay. I just... Something overcame me, but you intervened then. I... I don't know what to say. You already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. Hmm. <laughs> I should have come to thank you earlier. I, I owe you that at least. Don't worry. J just go out and be happy. You have a second chance, so use it as best you can. I will. I'll be leaving. Happy New Year, Jill. And thank you again. Please come again. So, a couple of years ago, I read some news about a woman saving a suicidal girl, catching her mid-air. Do you know something about that, boss? Maybe, maybe not. Whoever it was probably just did it because it was the right thing to do. Yeah, boss, you know that you did it. Feeling lonely? That voice. Hey, Joe. Long time no see. Really long time no see. Seriously, it feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. Anna? Hmm. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things were pretty heavy back then. So I just waited in the background to tell the tension more off a bit. Earth to Joe! I'm talking to you here. I ignore her, she'll leave. Oh, it's that, like that glitchy girl that would appear in the TV sometime. Oh, and yet, the TV even has her finger. I'm not an unfathomable sense of dread. You just, you can't just ignore me, you know. Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. Calm down, don't fall for her taunts. How did you know my full name, though? I thought your full name was Julianne Natalie Stingray. Or did you legally remove the Natalie? Never mind that. Is she reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, you're kind of written in the middle of the screen. I don't have to see them, actually. Alright, that's it. I'm going crazy. That's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things you just can't explain. 
Just because only you experience something doesn't mean it's a lie or that you're crazy. I mean, just look at asthma. ASMR. <laughs> asthma. Yeah. No, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this sin scenario. You've acknowledged me! Shit. That's good. I want... I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that set any and all plans I had for the rest of the week off balance. I'm gonna buy some curry with the money I had put put up for those drinks. Brow duty done. I know we have slow days, but for God's sake. You okay? You look angry. I, I, I'm fine. Good, good job out there. I'm back. Huh, boss. What happened? We didn't cut short. At least I drank the hass... Hasses... Hassy... The... The bottles. Are you okay? You, you look distraught. I'm fine. They really can't see you. I mean, you're right in front of them. You're wearing... Jeans under a skirt? Oh my... Ugh! What blasphemy is this? Why? Just... Why? To annoy people, of course! Is that a new trend? What does she think she's doing? Everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But they can't bring themselves to do it, because it's not that wrong. There are things like spats, after all. It's uncannily right. Not all that wrong. And they can't keep- they can't stop staring. I don't like anyone other than me could see it, though. They could see it if they wanted to. Jill, you're making an awful lot of, lot of faces there. You okay? Yeah, just, just, just remembering stuff. And I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving early today. And you stay here! Who stays where? Crap, did I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes her inner and outer voice. I, um... I thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter. Sorry. Oh, okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure, thanks for taking care of the fort. What about me? You haven't left yet. I'll thank you when you leave. That's not what I... Whatever. Well, really short... Hmm. Short second half of the day. Same way as you... Actually, let's see what the... What money I made today. Drinks total, $500. Mistakes, none. 30% commission. $150 payment. $150 in tips. Flawless service bonus. Yes. Here's something in case you felt lonely today. Aw. Aw. Thanks, boss. They transfer eleven hundred dollars. Okay, I need another sixteen hundred forty-nine dollars and fifty cents, and then I I got enough for rent. Anyway, with that, we'll end the video here. So if you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If not, give a dislike and leave a comment saying what I could do to improve the video. So hope you guys have a good day, night, evening, morning, sleep, whatever whatever time of day it is for you. So with that, I'll see you guys later. See ya!